Clyde Elephant Bar and Pilates. And today we're gonna do a short class using just a long TheraBand. My band is about five feet, so you definitely would want a longer version. And let's get started. We're gonna warm up. So you're just gonna go ahead and put that to the side. And to get warmed up, we're just going to start with just some squats, pressing into the heels, reaching the arms forward. Go ahead and bring it right back up, pressing into the heels as you stand, keeping your head lifted, and sending the glutes right behind you like you're going to take a seat. You're gonna go for another eight. Six, four more, and two, and one. Go ahead and press all the way up. Hands on your hips, and you're going to lift both heels. Be careful not to rock on the heels as you place them back down on the ground. And one more. Good. Now lean into that squat that you had and go ahead and lift just the left heel and then switch, switch, switch. Good. Feeling the legs really getting nice and warm now. We've got four, three, two, and one. Press all the way up and give me a wide stance. Let's stretch the arms a little bit since we will be using them with the band. You're going to bring them all the way out as you squat down and press up. All the way out, squeeze up, out. Four more. Good, warming up the shoulders. All right, couple more each side. And good, bring everything back to center. We're gonna walk for about 20 seconds. Just get the arms moving, the heart rate up a little bit. Then we're gonna grab our band and get right into our leg and arm exercises. All right, go ahead and start to slow it down in four, three, two, and one. All right. Now I'm standing out here near my porch and you could use a chair or your portable bar if you have it. You're gonna go ahead and take the band the long way, <coughs> stepping in. And we're gonna do the same squats we did in the warm up. You want your feet to be about hip width apart and a nice grip at the end of the band so it doesn't snap on you. So you're gonna pull the band up as you squat and then press right back up. We take it down and squeeze up, down, squeeze up, down and down. Keep pressing into your heels. Great job so far. Keep breathing through your work. Let's take it down for two and then hold right here. Now just the arms, pull up for the biceps. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Press all the way back up. You're gonna step one foot out, leaving one foot in. I'm gonna stand this way so you can see. We're gonna do some standing lunges. So you wanna make sure that the band is about halfway in your foot area. I have mine, you can see it's right before the pads of my foot in between the heel for sure. Go into your lunge, straight arms down by your side, and you're gonna go ahead and lunge down and up for eight. Be careful not to lose that band. So you have to keep that tension on there. 
sure you can wiggle your toes on your front foot. Last one. And then go ahead and hold it down. And then again, pull the band, keeping the arms tucked in by your sides. You've got four, three, two, and one. Step your back heel down, press up into your front foot, and switch the feet out, same like work on the other side. We step forward into the lunge. Make sure that band is back there nice and tight. This time I want you to wrap it up more around your knuckles so you have a little more tension. We're gonna do the same lunge. So you want your front knee to not go over the foot. And go ahead and press up and lift. Squeezing into the hamstring in the back. Stepping into your front lunge. Two and one. Now step the back heel down just slightly and then you're gonna lift the band in the back. So it's staying nice and secure on that back foot. So we're going right into tricep work. And you've got three and two and one. Good, step everything forward. Be careful with the band. Release that tension right around your knuckles and shake the arms out. We've got two more exercises we're gonna do and then we'll stretch it all out. The first one is you're gonna take the band the long way this time and you want to make sure that it's nice and wide at the bottom and go ahead and press your heel right into it and we're gonna go into a side lunge so for sure you can see that this leg is straight my heel is nice and firm onto the band bend the knee sending the butt back behind you wrap the band around your hand one time so you got a lot of steps here heel on the band Bend into the knee, press the glutes back. Hand on the hip, and you're gonna rainbow that arm up and over, and then right back down into a side crunch the other way. So we take it over, side crunch the other way. Up and over, and back. Up and over. So you really have to press that heel into the band, make sure it doesn't go anywhere on you. Bring it over, side crunch down. You're directly crunching down towards your left and your right in this movement, keeping the body just like a tilt back and forth. Let's do one more and hold that up and over. Now I want you to straighten that bent leg and then squat down, straighten. Squat down, press into the heel. Push and push. Little glute work here in your side lunge and two and one straighten both legs keep that band right there bend at the elbow and then just press up to finish your tricep work and six then we're going to just move that band right over to the other side two and one release it out great job all right home stretch if you can do it go ahead and get that band nice and long make sure it's flat Step into it, get into your side lunge, wrap the band around. I like a little bit extra right here. And then we take it up and over and side bend. Up and over, side bend back. And reach back, love this one. And up and over, that band just adds just a little bit of that extra work that you need. And one more, hold right here, and then press in and out of your side lunge. Push the glute back, so make sure you're not just stretching the outside leg, but you're really pressing it into the heel, you start to feel that work in the meat of your butt. Two, and one. Straighten everything up, let's get the tricep on the other side to finish. We go eight, and seven, four, three, two, and one. Good, release it all out. Woo, that was just enough for me. I don't know about you guys. You're gonna take that band in half. We're gonna use it to stretch. So feet facing forward, a little bit wider than hip width, and you're gonna reach forward, round your back, open the band just a little bit, and then bring it right back in. 
Again, reach forward, open, close for a little stretch, pull it right back. One more, open, close, scoop the back as you lift back up. <laughs> I'm gonna place my band right to the side and then use my deck right here, lifting your bottom foot. If this does not feel good for you, you can always come either to the floor or to a chair and then just bring that foot right up. <laughs> Then we'll finish with a nice big breath in and out. Great work. Thank you for joining me. Subscribe so that you can get more short workouts like this, ranging from beginner level to more intermediate. And thanks for joining. Have a good one.